we all have uh, odd backstories. Maya and Jack actually went to the same elementary school. Jeff and I met in high school. Uh, Jeff and I had a meet cute of our own. Uh, his best friend from high school moved to my hometown and became a good friend of mine. Uh, and then we all wound up, the four of us, actually going to the same college at NYU. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, I feel like half of the cast and crew from this movie went to NYU together. So, yeah. And we made a ton of student films together, graduated, kept making short films together. And uh, by the time this movie came around, when we were you know, staffing up, especially looking for our leads, we were like, let's just take from that same bank of people we've been working with forever because it's, it's such a comforting feeling getting to work with your, your friends. And it's also very, it's great when they also happen to be like the best people for those roles and super talented people like Jack and Maya. So. This was the first time I got to do this, but we had a rehearsal period for two weeks b prior to filming, which was so great because we bonded as yes. friends, got to know each other, and it was so easy right away. It was. I think when the first time we actually met, um, this was you guys. You guys oh, yeah. made it so we all did an escape room together. Uh, it was like a magical wizard themed one. It was the very yeah. first time they'd ever met. We, we ever met. Right into this wizarding world escape room. And we got out, so. We came, a bunch of our friends uh, that we all collaborated with in college, uh, some of them uh, had the kind of one in a million shot of graduating from school, and they had their, uh, they developed a web series and got the call of Ben Stiller wants to produce the next season, and come on, kids, you're moving to Hollywood. Uh, and uh, I moved out and uh, helped uh, produce that with them and, and started working uh, with Red Hour on several of their projects. Uh, uh, those friends of ours got a TV show off that, and I was working with them on that, and then uh, at some point we started, uh, Jeff and I... Uh, yeah, I was, I was out in New York directing commercials at the time, and then got a phone call from Reimer one day, and he was like, hey, I, I've got an in to Red Hour. I feel like we should have our own script. Like, I'm having a lot of fun working on my friend's show, but like, what if we develop something to potentially take to them? So we're like, yeah, that sounds great. And at the time, that was really when all of our friends started to get married, and it was something we were thinking about a lot and sort of going through, and... Uh, you know, obviously, you want to write something that sort of feels like therapy for yourself. So we're like, why don't we write about this? Because we're thinking about it all the time. Right. And uh, it very quickly came together. And, and then after that, once the script was done, uh, you handed it back to the folks at Red Hour. And you yeah, know, and, and uh, that very, uh, you know, uh, to their credit, uh, Debbie Liebling and Jackie Cohn saw it. And, and that was what made us not two dudes with a script sitting on a shelf. And it, you know, they said they wanted to make it. And jumped on board and really put some wind in our sails for the, the long haul of developing, developing a movie.